Hello, and welcome to our Christmas show for the love of animals. I'm Darlene Pickford from Paducah, Kentucky. And I'm Greg Bauer. And we have our little friend Wicket here with us today who's uh, gone to sleep already. already. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd like to tell our viewers about a couple of upcoming shows. Okay. One on how to start your own bee colony, which uh, I find fascinating, and also on uh, a show talking about cancer in dogs and cats. Ooh. Uh, something we all have to face one of these yes, days, yes, unfortunately, many. So what what about the Christmas show? Ho, 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 Darlene! Yes, <laughs> well, we're going to, this is a Christmas show. We're going to give you some ideas for toys and well-being uh, mm -hmm. for your pets here at Christmas. So Greg, would you introduce our guest? I'll be happy to, but first I want to tell our, our viewers, get yourself a piece of paper and pencil because oh, yes. a little later in the show we're going to give you several names of places where you can maybe help and donate, volunteer during the holidays and any time of the year. So get that paper and pencil will come a little bit later. And you can but, use it now for the upcoming items that you're going to see. You yeah. might want to remember there we to go. put in your pet stocking for Christmas. Well, but we have two <laughs> our veteran guests today yes. with us today. They've been with us before. Down on the very left uh, on your screen is uh, Sally Moore. And to Sally's left is uh, Dina Rowe. And we're so glad that the two of you took time out of your schedule to come give us some great gift ideas Absolutely. today. Glad to be here. Glad, glad to be here. <laughs> now, now, Sally, you, you are a dog trainer, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And your specialty is? Well, we specialize in retriever training, uh -huh. but we do all breeds and obedience. Okay, you're yeah. our, our local dog expert. Mm -hmm. And Dina, you're both dogs and cats, but you work with? Fur Kids Pet Hotel in Paducah. Right, and that is an up, upcoming and very interesting uh, business. Yeah. Anyway, we're so glad that both of you joined us today. Well, are you ready, Greg? I am ready. I want to see what they brought. Okay. Let's start off by seeing what new and delightful toys you might want to put into your pet stocking. And Sally, shall we start with you? What's, what's in your Christmas bag? Well, I'm starting out with some puppy toys. All right. And puppy toys and adult toys are different. Okay. How's People that? People need to be aware of that. Puppies' teeth are sharp and small, and, and they need rubbery things to sink their teeth into. Whereas an adult dog, bigger teeth, they can tear this kind of stuff up. Okay. So when the puppy's teeth fall out and their adult come in, switch out. But these are great baby toys. They're okay. up. Regardless of how the puppy's playing, it's up. This is a neat toy that you take the little treats and you put it down in the treat itself. It's rubbery, uh -huh. and that can be entertaining. The keys I like because puppies will lose interest. Well, they'll switch from one key to the next. It's on the same ring, but they don't notice it. And so these are, they're all great puppy toys. Okay. Work really good for babies. I, I like mm -hmm. that one, that when you turn over, it's still up. Yeah, so the puppies don't get into the carpet or get into the bedding or whatever they're on. Ooh. And this one stays up too, see? Uh huh. So it's mm. handy. This has got the rubber and some hard combined. It's uh, just, these are good baby toys. So what we have is rubber, rubber toys that basically help to keep the, the puppy's interest longer. Yes, yes. Okay. They want something soft they can bite into. Uh, and all this sea bins, it's soft plastic, soft rubber. Okay. But you have to change out for adults. Because an adult, large dog could tear that up. Tear that up sure. so and easily. I see a uh, wicket kind of looking at those right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Any, anything else in your um, I have some adult toys. Okay, Let's show us some more toys. For and for the bigger dogs, I like the hard bones, um, okay. the sterilized bones. Ooh. This is something that's to resemble a stick and it's got some wood actual fibers in it. That mm. lasting is really good for them. Okay. There's also your Nyla bones. And I tend to like the one with the knuckle better. The dogs seem to like it a little better. Resembles a real bone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So you got your Nyla bone. Um, as far as fun stuff goes, your Frisbees are great for these guys to go and play with. Be careful throwing it too high. There's been back injuries. Mm -hmm. I tend to oh. tell people throw it low so they Excellent can just go along idea. the ground. But they love it. What's that one made of? It's just fabric. Just and it'll fabric. float. You can do it on water, whatever, land. Um, and then this is a cool toy for dogs. It's called a chuck it. I love what that. In the and it's got a tennis ball and you can throw it. Oh. To let your dog go get it. Yeah. Okay. It's great. Oh, okay. They love them. They love them. Uh, and of course for the retrievers, the dummies of course. These are already <laughs> scented. They have duck scent on them. 
They float on the water. They, you can throw them on land or water, and they really like them. None of this stuff, any of this stuff, really should be supervised. I wouldn't leave this for chewing on. But any of your toys that you are going to let them chew on, keep it supervised. Uh, you know, yes. when it gets down to a certain size, discard it. Get a new one. I, don't don't I, leave it. I got gotcha. you. All right. Um, all good toys. Very for dogs. Good toys. Yep, for dogs. All right. Let's see what we have for cats. Dina, what's in your bag? Your... <laughs> my stuff there. I have a few here for both kittens and adults. My, one of my favorites is the mouse. Mm -hmm. um, even the dogs <laughs> seem to like the mouse Look and at what they do. See? Uh-huh. Case in point. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> when the cats get through playing with it, they kind of bat it around a little bit, but it, the, the, uh, the ribbon starts coming off of it, so then they have a ribbon to play with, too. Uh -huh. And of course, when it gets down to the head, I take it and throw it away because yeah, I don't like right. it hanging around. I have probably have quite a few of those underneath my couch. <laughs> yeah, a good place to find them. And of course, we have the little balls. We have the fabric uh, ball, and then we have one with a little bell in it, which my kittens seem to just go nuts over this little ball. Yeah, make the noise. The noise, yeah. Um, this is another fun thing for kittens and even some of my adult cats. It hang, you can hang it from a doorknob. You can hang it from a, a nail oh, up high. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I prefer the doorknob because it's a little bit lower. Mm. Um, so the cats get up here and ring the bell. And of course, they have the feathers, which I guess yours would really appreciate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Callie would swing on that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's flexible, so they can pull it a little ways, and it springs back, and the bells hit the door, and they get even more interested in it. Oh, my word. So this is, that's my, one of my absolute favorites. And then this little bee. It's got the little wings that make the noise. You're talking about an aluminum right. foil ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they like the noise. And of course, this has catnip in it too. So they're enticed um, to come over here and play. And it used to have feathers, but uh, <laughs> um, yes. some are shedding right now. So. <laughs> can, can you replace the catnip in that or is it? This one you can't. Um, I think some of the more inexpensive ones you can't replace, but some of the more expensive ones you can replace have the catnip the in it. have the Velcro opening and yes. closing. Yeah. Yes, this one does not. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. this little one right here has the, the opening so you can put more stuff in it. Yeah. There it is. Right I like there. those. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's what I've got as far as playing. Wow. Well, you've got quite, <laughs> our viewers now have it, some excellent ideas of how to fill their pet stocking for Christmas. Right, yes, Greg? Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, we're at a point where we want to stop for just a moment. This is a very special show for Darlene yes, and me. Yes, yes it is. Um, it's a forget-me-not. Uh, we lost one of our little uh, cats. Um, I guess she'd never been with us on the show, but no, we lost no. her to cancer uh, a month or two ago, and so we want to dedicate the, the show to Skeeter today, and we have a little story about her with some pictures, so give a listen. Skeeter was a domestic, short hair female cat who lived with Darlene and Greg for over 12 years. Darlene had been doing some work at the Project Hope Rescue Shelter and Skeeter kept telling her that she wanted a forever home. So Darlene relented and brought her home to live with their other cats. Skeeter quickly fit into the other group of cats and adapted very well to her new buddies. A small cat, Skeeter never bothered a soul, but you knew that she was always there. She never demanded much. During the past several months of 2014, Skeeter began to lose a significant amount of weight and the vet discovered that she had a sizable mass in her intestine. He only gave her a little time to live, so Darlene and Greg made the decision to put her down. It was a great loss and Skeeter will always be remembered for her friendliness and enthusiasm. She will never be forgotten. Hi, and, and welcome back. We hope you enjoyed that little tale as, as much as we enjoyed having Skeeter with us all those years. For and, 12 years. And she was a joy. Yes, yeah, she and was. We, we, miss, we still miss her, and it was, it was a heartbreak to lose her, but she was a wonderful joy uh, on our porch and on our, on our windowsill for 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> well, this afternoon we're uh, talking with uh, Dina Rowe and with Sally Moore, who have brought some wonderful gift ideas for you for your pets for Christmas. And so we, we've taken a look at toys in the first segment. Right. What about comfort and aid, beauty aids, health aids like that? Uh, so and well-being. Yes, and Dina, why don't we start with you? What have you got in your gift bag for that? For, for well, cats? It's, um, I have a waterless bath, which I was oh. thinking about you when you were talking about I've giving cats I've got one in my bag right okay, now. Okay, <laughs> I didn't know if you had, had heard about them. 
Um, but I like the ones, this brand is really, really good, but they also, it's all just enzymes, so it's, there's not any chemicals in it. 100% oh. biodegradable. Okay. Um, so you just follow directions as far as putting it on. I would use this for a cat. You could use it for a dog as well, but obviously we don't bathe cats normally as much as we oh, do our my dogs. Cats are a little harder to bathe. <laughs> a little bit more difficult to bathe, and sometimes we kind of put that chore off for a couple and years or so. All you do is put it on, lather it in. Yeah, you just put it on them and you just let it dry, and then you can just brush it out. Brush it out. Mm -hmm. One, and, and, but I like biodegradable and just enzymes, no chemicals. Just chemical. enzymes, exactly. Because cat skin are so tender, right? It is, and, and exactly. Yeah, it is very tender, They're so very you don't tender. want to. Yeah, and they really don't like water, so. No. <laughs> they will tolerate maybe a little bit of spraying or spray it on a washcloth and just wipe them down with it because some, some cats just don't like that spray noise. Mm -hmm. And although oh. this is a pump, it still makes a little bit of a noise that they get a little, sometimes mm -hmm. they get a little bit afraid of that noise. Um, the other thing I have is a stain and odor eliminator. And oh. this also is 100% natural. It's made in the United States. Um, it's kind of ironic. Before I came here, my dogs got a hold of a bottle of this. Um, they had a little accident, and they chewed this up and spilled it on top of their little accident. So I thought, that was, <laughs> I thought well, great. Now all I have to do is mop it up because <laughs> they already disinfected it for me. So. <laughs> Um, oh. But these are both really good products, and like I said, 100% uh, biodegradable, made in the United States, and they're with enzymes, nothing with chemicals no in chemicals, it. No chemicals, that would be harmful. Um, the other thing I brought was actually a can of uh, food. Okay. Um, and the reason I brought this can of food is because my cats have gone ballistic over this food. Um, and it's 100% made in the United States, nothing overseas. Um, you can get that in a couple different places around town, but it's a tuna, and the first ingredient in it is tuna. Oh. And it's flaked. It looks like a can of regular tuna that you would open up. And every every time my cats see the blue on this uh, can, exactly. they, don't th they have me trained. Um, <laughs> they, I grab a few cans and they look at me like, who oh, is that the tuna? <laughs> and they absolutely devour it. They love it. I haven't had a cat yet that I've seen in my house or at our business to not eat that because they mm -hmm. love it. Yeah. Wow. So it smells really good. And of course, it, it, with the tuna, it has Being the, the first uh, ingredient. Right. Yes, the very first ingredient is tuna. And I like it that's made in the United States. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, those Absolutely. are three good ideas. Yeah. Great. Sally, what have you got in your bag for dogs? For I'm sort of into teeth myself. Um, okay. Yeah, there's toothpaste strictly designed for dogs, there's toothbrushes. Mm -hmm. There's a little a finger toothbrush you can stick on your finger, and that's usually what I start with babies. Uh huh. Uh -huh and just massage those little teeth. And then as they get a little bit bigger, then I start with their toothbrush. There's so many illnesses that come from bad teeth. It's unbelievable. That is so true. It's unbelievable. So it's a simple thing. I've got three labs and they come and sit by the drawer where they know it is. Mm. Is that because that tastes so good or? No, they just like to have their teeth. Because sometimes I'll just do it with water. I don't always use the paste, but sometimes I'll just do it with water. They enjoy it. They like it. Uh -huh. Rope toys are good for flossing. So I would use this, that. yeah, they're very good for flossing. I would use that for an adult dog. And then I've got a smaller one that I would use for a um, little dog. I can't find it right now, but it's in my bag. But I would go with a smaller one for a, a puppy. A, a smaller mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. a smaller rope, rope toy mm -hmm, okay. for a puppy. And of course, supervised because some of them can just tear it right in half. Um, and then you go back to your bones again. Your sterilized bones, your Nyla bones, they keep all that tartar built off. Because okay, it just, we've that. got a dog at the kennel right now that has some major problems because of his teeth. Yeah. And he's never been a chewer. Hmm. And then he's never had teeth brushed, so he's got lots of tartar buildup. Mm -hmm. um, also, you know, in the wintertime with these little guys or big guys that don't have hair, they need a jacket. Oh, yes. It's cold. Let's give them some protection. They're groomed. They're cut short. Exactly. For cold weather, let's mm -hmm. give them a little jacket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, something I wanted to touch on, too, there's a lot of people that get puppies for Christmas, oh, they yes. get babies. Yes. I'm not sure it's the best time of the year, no. but anyway, whenever no, I get no, a baby. I agree with you 100%. It's there's not. There's just so much going on. Mm -hmm. You know, there's it, just a lot going on. And you know, a person needs to pick out their own cat or their own oh, dog. Yeah. yeah. You don't need to pick it out for me. Right. So give them a gift certificate, even though may say, they may say later, you know, I don't think I want a pet right now. Right, exactly. So exactly. That's, that's not good for the person. It's not good for the no, animal. No, well, no. You, you mm -hmm. made the point for me that I was going to make a little later in the show. Christmas is not the time to no. add a new pet to no. the Exactly. It's too much going cat on. Or anything it, else. No, it just isn't. Goes. And if I get a new baby, you know, I'll tell somebody, if you're going to crate train them, which is a good way to go, get a little stuffed animal. 
to put in the crate with them and then get a wind up clock. And that tick, 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 tick sounds like that heartbeat of those little brothers and sisters oh, they left. that they miss. Oh. Yeah, and it makes that transition a little easier. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now does that have what uh, the, the toy, I mean not This the is toy. just a plain little stuffed that you can put in there with it. And you can use any kind of little stuffed animal I gotcha. that you choose and then get that clock. That's the main thing and put it in there. And it just helps with that transition that they're going to go through. Wonderful. Yeah. Good, excellent point. Yeah. Well, I have a few, Greg. Okay. Okay. Have you ever tried, now I'm a non-professional, I'm not a professional groomer. Have you ever tried to groom a cat or cut its nails? <laughs> no. Well, this is a grooming <laughs> it's bag. It's not a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> you put the cat in the bag and there are four zippers for its paws. So you can bring out one paw at a time to click nails or something like that. Now I'm going to wonder how long it's going to take one of our cats to tear this up. Well, they shouldn't. Well, you know they're our They're confined cat. in there, I know, but our they're confined in there. <laughs> I have heard about these for a long time, but I have only used these in the last year. And these are the pill pockets. They have them for both cats and for dogs. Mm -hmm. You can buy them any size. And you put the pill in here, close it up, give it to the dog, or you can pinch it off, wrap the pill in it, or just give it as a treat. Mm -hmm. Wicky, Wicket, want a treat? Want a treat? Yeah. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. So pill pockets, I do recommend. They're handy. They're great. They're a little harder to use on cats. Probably, yeah. Because cats are not as anxious about oh, no. it as dogs are, but uh, it, it does work well. Mm -hmm. And um, for our comfort and well-being, I've never used the stink finder with the ultraviolet light, <laughs> but I have one now, and I'm the snooper now, but I found that, that this flashlight I like better because it's not as heavy but yet it seems to give. Yeah. And I do have my UV sunglasses in here. You know, it's, it's not really perhaps needed, but I, I still have them that way. So another thing that I would recommend, it's somewhere down here in my bag, is feel away products or the, the pheromones, either mm -hmm. for dogs or cats. This is the plug-in diffuser and this is the spray. If your animals are stressed out for any reason, or if there's pro problems with um, marking or improper use of the litter pan, this, this might help. And uh, particularly when you go away on vacation or something, this is a nice product to put out. Mm -hmm. And there is one for dogs. It's not called, it, it, and we use it for Wicket now when he goes to sleep at night. So uh, he, he, he likes it. In well, it, it's helped to calm mm -hmm. him down. Mm -hmm. and you know, we have one out of the kennel we use. It's called Adaptal. That's it, right. And D it's very good Yes. for dogs that are nervous with storms mm -hmm. or just anxious about being left. Do you spray use the, dis the diffuser or the spray? I use the spray, and oh, it do. seems to work better. I'll spray it on their bedding, and then I'll take some and spray it on the sides of the kennel. And it, oh. it does help. Okay, I, I, I'm using the diffuser now, and but I think I'll also get the mm -hmm. spray. Mm -hmm. you know? Now, uh, can you put it on their feet or anything like no, that? No, you don't put it directly on them. Okay. Just, and you let things dry for a few minutes. It's got an alcohol base to it. Let it dry a little let bit. Let it dry. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it does. It's helped a lot of dogs. Yes, yes. So that certainly helps in, in calming them down. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. so well, I'll tell you, we're just getting some wonderful yes, ideas. Yes, we are. Um, if we could uh, just incorporate all these things, uh, th th life would be m even more wonderful for our animals than it already is. Co so. Comfort to your dog <laughs> gives comfort to uh, the pet owner also. <laughs> we want to uh, stop at, the, at this point, and um, we told our viewers earlier that we'd like to have you get paper you and pencil. You need paper and pencil. And we're going to show you a list of local, uh, I think it's seven or maybe eight, I'm not sure, uh, local groups who specialize in rescue and and all kinds of things related to animal shelters and things like that. So make a note and as you think about Christmas, one of the things that you can do is to think maybe about a monetary donation or in, if you talk to some of these shelters, they could sure use some help volunteering. And so it, this would be a wonderful gift that you could uh, do for Christmas at, uh, for some unlucky animals who don't happen to have a happy home. 
and you can make your donation in memory of an animal or in thanksgiving mm -hmm. uh, for an animal exactly. or just for no reason at all except mm -hmm. it's the holiday season. So we'll show you the list now, take a look at it, make some notes, and we'll probably also show it at the end of the show so that if you miss something you can come back again. Or you can call us um, uh, at uh, 270-443-8330, that's our telephone number, and we'd be happy to give you any information that you need. So, give a listen and make some notes. Fur Kids, Rescue and Low Cost Spay Neuter. Directors, Michelle Fowler and Dina Rowe. 4138 Hanson Road, Paducah, Kentucky 42001. Email furkidshotel at gmail.com. The phone number is 270-554-3872. The McCracken County Humane Society, Terry Vanderson, Director, 4000 Coleman Road, Paducah, Kentucky, 42001. The phone number is 270-443-5923. Missing Bella, Animal Rescue, Low-Cost Spay Neuter and Pet Food Bank. Lisa Lauk and Christy Bell, Directors. The phone number is 270-816-3761. Unchained Love, Pitbull Rescue, Richard Jennings, Director, www.unchainedloveinc.org, P.O. Box 336, Eddyville, Kentucky, 42038, the phone number 812-463-2331. Creatures Great and Small, Judy Hardy, Director, P.O. Box 9173, Paducah, Kentucky, 42002. The phone number 270-495-0773. Email creaturesgns at hotmail.com. The website is helpthecreatures.com. Project Hope Humane Society, K. Parker, Shelter Manager. P.O. Box 125, Metropolis, Illinois, 62960. The phone number 618-524-8939. Email info at projecthopeanimalshelter.com and the website is projecthopeanimalshelter.com. The McCracken County Animal Shelter, Ryan Brown, Director. 455 County Park Road, Paducah, Kentucky, 42003. The phone number, 270-448-1570. Welcome back. We hope that you're enjoying uh, the gifts and the, the fun that we're having today as we think about celebrating Christmas uh, in uh, just a few weeks. And Darlene was showing something at the end of the second segment, and we thought it might need a need little, a little bit more of explanation. So, Darlene? Well, for comfort, th this is a stinky light. It's a black light. If you want to find maybe where your uh, animals have thrown up or improperly done their business, it might not be visible to you, but if you use this light and shine it on doors or floors or furniture, you might find out more where you need to clean, okay? And if you use it a lot, be sure to wear UV protection. And I like the flashlight actually better than the long light myself. So this is a black light used to find uh, where your cat or dog might have done something that they shouldn't have done. So mm -hmm. it, it leads you to cleaning. But now, Greg, speaking of our list of local donations, uh, Skeeter, our cat that I that lost, would like to make a donation to Fur Kids. Uh, I know you guys are just getting organized, but that's to help spay or neuter a kitty okay. in, in your future, okay? Thank you. And Sally, I know that uh, you lost uh, one of your precious dog, Ashes. Ashes. Mm -hmm. And here is a donation to creatures great and small Thank you. in honor of Ashes Thank in, her, you. In, in her memory. So we hope our guests will also remember to remember our local organizations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which leads us now to what Christmas wish or miracle do we wish for all pets? And Dina, shall we start with you? Sure. What's your Chris Christmas wish? I, I would like for all the animals not to have to be outside in cold and without love. 
Mm -hmm. um, I would like for our shelter dogs to know the affection of a person. Um, and food comes in and money comes in, which is great. But more than that, I would like to see people getting involved and going and putting their hands on these animals. Absolutely. Getting them socialized mm -hmm. because we all know it reduces our blood pressure, releases a lot of positive chemicals in our brain. Absolutely. It's, it's great for both. Mm -hmm. It's empowering for the person. It makes the dogs more social and more confident. I would like to see that more than anything else. Well, that's Wonderful. a beautiful wish, Tina. Sally? Beautiful. And easier to be placed. So those yeah. dogs can be yes, placed. Absolutely. It's a yes. win win situation. Yeah. It helps them dogs. Yeah. It helps us. It helps them. It's basically the same thing Dina's saying. That these guys have a good life. They have good food to eat. They have a roof over their head. And they have somebody to pet and love on them. Mm -hmm. And so to give them that. Absolutely. absolutely. And to help socialize them so they can be placed. And so that's mm -hmm. your wish also. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I would add that my wish is for the start of a good low cost spay neuter program in absolutely. our locality. Yes. So we would need as shelters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would be it would be nice if they could all be uh, closed down as, because the, there's no the, need for them. Our Christmas wish yes. is that we don't need them anymore though we like the people yes. and all. Yes. So. Yes, that but would be good. Th yes. Wouldn't that be great? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I guess my Christmas wish would go along with all these. Uh, I'd just like to see people also take a little better care of the animals that they that have. That they have, and realize we they're not throwaways. But yeah, mm -hmm. and too often we see uh, animals that are chained outside, the dogs mm -hmm. especially, or mm -hmm. cats that are uh, just uh, they run loose and they're neglected and things like that. So if you have an animal, please take care of it and take the responsibility for keeping that animal in good health and good care and you'd be surprised how long that animal will be with you and uh, so that that's that's the major wish that uh, and that you know they didn't ask to be our animals we chose exactly exactly, exactly. so now there's a responsibility mm -hmm. on our part not just physically or monetarily it's all mm -hmm. of it Yes. Absolutely. Emotionally, physically, monetary, everything. A long-term responsibility, yes, not, absolutely. A, short, not no, a short term. No, no, mm -hmm. no. It's a other, lifetime. The, yes. the other thing that, uh, uh, just to reinforce something that Sally said a little bit earlier about please don't bring a new animal <laughs> into your house at Christmas. At Christmas. Or it's the not fair season. to the animal and it's not fair to all around. Right. Uh, bring it in at a time after the lot after things have settled down mm -hmm. a little give it bit. Thought. Mm -hmm. Give yes. it thought. Mm -hmm. and, and the other thing is give you give it a lot of thought as to what kind of an animal would be best for your family. Too many people don't take it, that into consideration. No. So no. just a little bit of thought on the part of, of you out there as the viewers and how you obtain a pet and what you do with it and so on like that. Pets can be the most wonderful thing in the world. They help your blood pressure. They are so comforting but you've got to do it in the right way. And so... Uh, but sometimes a pet chooses you. Oh, and yes. if they do, well, uh, take th that th as a joy. There's <laughs> nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So, Well, anyway, Darlene, we've just come to the end of I another know. wonderful uh, Christmas show. And uh, we really want to thank our guests yes, for uh, being here and Dina for their and Sally, contribution. Yes. Thank, thank you, you for so having much us. for being and, here. Uh, you, you, you've really brought some wonderful ideas. So in closing... I'm Darlene. I'm Greg. And... We want our viewers to remember what we tell you and we just reinforce it a little bit more at this time of year. Give your pet a little extra love today and, and every, every day. day. See you next time. Happy holidays.